just don't know all the moves yet. You're See, never Mala eating moves. an apple. I noticed you messed up on a couple of moves yourself, smart Is it mouth. nice? Well, if I did, it's because of your dumb choreography. Who the devil ever told you you were a he choreographer? Loves apples. Because I'm here to tell you that you you're love not. You apples, eh, Mala? You're out of line. No, Jerry, and, and they're out of line. All of them. Now, I am a pro, and I expect to work with you. Is it nice? I Why thought I was going to play with him with the little and apple, then, trying him, and, and nice ready. eating it all up. Hey, I wonder how long it's going to make to eat that. Is that nice? All right, let's call He's it enjoying night. that. We'll get a fresh start in the morning. Uh, don't you worry, I'm scared. <laughs> of course, we'll be putting the show together. It's nice. He's not going to eat it all, I think. I don't think he's going to eat it all. He likes apples. Yeah. Yeah, is it finished? You don't want to eat it anymore. He's got enough of it. In the meantime, I was busy. I've got some beautiful wool, wool cotton that Lisa gave me. I'm so happy. She gave me, I'll show you what colors they are. She gave me beautiful thick cotton. And some of the cotton is shiny. Some of the cotton is a little bit thinner. But I can all use this for doing some tatting, what I learned on the website. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful too. It's like a peachy color. Beautiful color. And then uh, today, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to learn how to tat with little beads inside. This is also beautiful Bordeaux. Beautiful and it's shiny. I like the one that's shiny. I think it's better than the plain one. So she gave me this one too, and then she gave me this beautiful pink. Look how nice, that one is shiny, a little bit, semi shiny. Very nice, I can make a lot of things out of that. Um, and then she gave me this green one. Look at this. And cotton is very expensive in, in, in the shop. You, buy, you pay about like 30 to 40 rand for a ball. Like the one I bought is, um, I think, this blue one. My thinking is getting a little and, uh, so you believe the light is delivered. Yeah, what I was doing is I was um, making a butterfly and instead of making well all the peacocks, I'm going to put the beads in the place, which is going to look very, very nice. And the one I did just now in the morning was this one. Um, oh yeah, this one here. Last week I made these beautiful little earrings. You probably probably saw it on the on Facebook. You put it here down. It's always nice if you put it on a on a background. But uh, I love this kind of earrings. I have to put stars, uh, I have to buy that material to stiffen it. But this is also very nice, I love it. And then, yeah, what I did this morning is this one in the beige cotton that um, Lisa gave me. And you can see it's much better than the one I used for um, the one I used right in the beginning when I was learning. Uh, look how thin this is. It's very nice cotton, but it was too thin. And that's also the bigger, the bigger, the bigger part I need is this. It is also beautiful to put a picture in. 
the heart. Okay, it was the heart. And let's just put it, and let's just take it out of there. And then, you know, these are also gave me some slides from these I made. But I think this is the one I bought, but it was too thin. The cotton was much too thin. So the best cotton is this one. Is the one I made now, the, the, the little heart. That's the best cotton, it's thickness. And it goes much easier. It's not so complicated. Because when you take pink cotton, eventually sometimes the cotton bra breaks. So yeah guys, I'm going to come back to you just now and show you what I'm making with the pearls. So I'll see you later. Bye. Thanks for watching. And Milo is gone for the sleep. Hey Milo? Milo? You're going for a sleep, eh? Bye. Thanks for watching.